What is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Skyrender. So you go up against Plus Colum, <laughs> and I really like his short name for that. He's just a plus and a colum, and he's already. And I took him in between where I was looking for a game on my Discord channel, and he brought definitely Ubers, but not in a way that I was consider this is impossible for me to beat. Mainly because Kangaskhan actually. For all intents and purposes, actually can deal with a few of these rather well. Double Edge and Sucker Punch really takes me a long way here. So my opponent here leads up with Zerora. Tough matchup, sure, for Urshin, but I can definitely get my Misty or Stick Web up with... Um, I'm not gonna say with ease, but it's definitely gonna come up. And I kind of was hoping his Plasma Fist was gonna bring me down to my Sash of Grutality, would have never. He goes for Plasma Fist. But it's definitely not as powerful as I wanted it to be, as it doesn't break my sash, and, um, well, clearly, I am now not unburdened. So, I figured he's probably gonna go for that move again, and I'm pretty sure my Lorantis can soak whatever he wanna throws at me. So, that's what I do. I'll... <laughs> I was kind of worried about Blaze Kick. I know that's probably the following move, but at least I can kind of force to see whether or not he's Scarf or anything like that. I just, I I don't like the damage output. And the damage output kind of, I, I feel confident surviving a Blaze Kick. So with the damage, I decided to actually sting or a super power just see what happens. I know there are matchups where I can't beat. You're a TWL of them. But it shows me Brutal Swing. And from here on, I felt very confident that I should not be worried about this team at all. I should be theoretically <laughs> in the best spot ever. You know, you get some of these spells already that you just feel it could be an in-game team or something that isn't well strategized. So uh, that was my intention. I was like, all right, let's let's give him a benefit of a doubt if we want to switch up moves, seeing that this is a matchup he actually loses due to not packing Blaze Kick. So he sends in Metal Greymon. So Digimon reference, I'm sure. And um, Leaf Storm, of course, gonna do absolutely nothing. I was thinking, huh, what if he went for Fire Blast? I'll do anything in my power for Omnicrom. I sent the Scorch to be able to, um, to get a Flash Fire boost. It is definitely um, like, a, like a retaliation I easily take. And Stick Waves on the fields are just so many mods that actually are out reporting me. So, but I was worried, you know, he could pack Hurricane, that's a thing. We'll get the Flash Fire, which is, by the way, incredible. It means I can Flame Charge through this matchup if I want to, or fly, Fire Lash, and not have a carry world, and goes for a break and swipe. I was like, alright, there is no way he has that as my attack falls, which is fine. Uh, I can always boost that with the uh, Call and whatnot, so, as of this point, I'm not worried. I am not worried one bit. Uh, but I should. I definitely should have. He hurricanes, and I was like, fuck. This guy actually actually has something on me, and that's that's not good, because Charizard actually turns out to be very hard for me to switch into. But I got Lucille, my Kangaskhan, which definitely have the means to pressure the matchup. Fake out Sucker Punch should definitely do some damage, and um, my opponent here takes some time to decide what they want to do. Now, I do fear Giratina as of means that it's a Pokemon that, while not offensively scary, it is a Pokemon that's definitely chunky and really keeps me at arm length and, uh, well, this isn't helping. And Fake Out does right, right enough to where just gonna, I could sack play Urchin and just go for Miss Explosion or see what it wants to do. I could easily stomach at least one hit, I'm sure, but that's about it. And that's a baby. But your team is not that offensively scary as it goes for Dragon Claw. And at this point, I'm like, all right, let's hope it's super defensive. If so, I should be able to have speed. And well, what do you know? I am able to have speed. And this means the explosion is going to do. I say good damage. It's not incredible, but at the same time, it is anything I own. And <laughs> Jurantina is good damage. Go to Shadow Ball, it's all fine. And uh, I am, well, easily now have a very fair switch into Lucille again. And are able to, with the combination of Fake Out and Sucker Punch, actually be able to just annihilate this matchup. Now, I could have just gone for Sucker Punch directly, but I did want to take the big risk. Uh, I think if you have the option, like Kangaskhan has, to have a dual priority, that you should be able to pull that off. It actually is one of the very few mods that actually has this combination. And it's, quite frankly, 
incredible and very very underrated and this week Kangaskhan has been an absolute madness and it's just about to do with getting two very strong hits in first so here comes Articuno now I don't think Articuno can do anything to me but I don't have a good switch in either like neither like my toxicity nor combo when I soak hits from this so I just went directly for a double edge just break it and I'll say I definitely did that and retaliate of a hurricane and unfortunately my opponent misses unfortunately for my opponent of course but basically this meant that Articuno was not a switch in and I win this combination with I'm not gonna say ease but hell devil didn't touch me so I you know I, I say it's it's definitely with ease so yeah you can see I slowly realize in the Kangaskhan might be a bigger problem for my opponent that were initially fought. So now just looking at team, what, which mods are left? Should I be able to level around here, do some retaliation? Could I, with combo set up, those two options was kind of in there. But just for that, fuck it. Just let let me do as much damage as possible in there. As my opponent, for a second time, this is a hurricane, and Kangaskhan is now taking its third kill. And for all the sense and purposes, that is actually quite right. Uh, also, just getting shards out of the way definitely opens up the game a bit more for me. Um, there are matches, like I said, that are problematic, and with shards are gone, that is now easily negated. But here comes Reshiram. Reshiram is a very, very chunky lad. So, for this matchup, I just felt double edge, do as much damage as possible, and, um, well, just die. Basically, I was kind of fearing the Dynamax. The double edge will do a very, very hefty chunk. Uh, Rosner of the Fusion Flare, while a good hit in his own right, is not able to kill me. I am able to hold on. And yeah, I could have, you know, sucker punched here. I know that. But I just wore the double edge again. I just fuck it. Let's, let's just get Kanga in there and I get my free switch into something that I can just wrap up the game. Now the remaining mods are what? Serora and um, um, Gustlord. So from the structure of my team I felt the combo was a no-brainer from this point. There is, there is nothing going on here that I can't beat. So if he's sensing Gustlord, which unfortunately my opponent does, the only way my opponent wins is if he just packs a dragon or Draco Meteor. So I felt rather safe go for Belladrum here. If it has Draco, so be it. Like that clearly opens up the game for me with my other main amounts. And um, well, you know, that's the call I made. So my opponent is of course not outspeeding. I get my Belladrum, I get as much recovery as possible. And you know, Gustlord is a HP pinata with of course being extremely high HP, like a Waylord, and being weak to drain punch. I'm I'm in a good spot. As my opponent goes to Frash, and I was like yeah, that's uh, that's a wrap. Now, had that been outraged, yeah, they could probably have killed. But, um, yeah, we don't get to find that out. And quite frankly, <laughs> Gust Lord is absolutely beaten and given me the HP I need to wrap up the game. And last one is Aurora, And, well, let's just say a plus six karma with a full HP. Yeah, yeah, you need player off to beat me, buddy. And at minus one, I'm not sure he's able, even able to outspeed. Now, like I said, I was kind of fearing this set could be scarfed, but um, my opponent is going to push the D button and basically ensure that I will be able to outspeed. And all I can say here to my opponent plus column is that, you know, thank you so much for the game. I thought it was really fun. And also to you guys watching, I really hope you enjoyed this post com battles. I'm, I'm finding it hard to like re narrate. I think there is a certain like structure that is lost in translation of me explaining what's happening i really like the more spontaneous thing i mean when my citizens were kind of died i was like yeah that's actually quite unfortunate i don't know how to beat this team i don't think we get that drama for me that's kind of rough but at the same time i get to of course really really define myself as making a better player than i did anyway first word big watching have a great day everyone right bye